Welcome into another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. I'm excited for this conversation today. We're talking about to-do lists, but not just any to-do list. If you watch this show, you follow along, you know I don't love to-do lists. So we're going to tell you how to use a to-do list the right way, not the way everyone else on the internet talks about it. And I have two special guests with me. Before we get there, let's just recap the Harmonious architecture. Where are we? Why are you here? It's simple. It's the 10 fundamental business disciplines you must master in order for your business to scale, grow, and succeed. As you know, most small businesses fail within the first five years. We're here to prevent that and help you actually grow your company sustainably without pulling your hair out. And that's why I bring on amazing guests like the two we have today, and we talk about the topics that we have today. So let's dive in. First and foremost, Zay Faith and Devon, welcome to the show. So excited to have you guys here. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, so I, I hinted a little bit, we're talking about to-do lists, but for, for the audience, can you summarize basically what you guys do first and then we'll we'll dive in? Yeah, no problem. So what we do is we, su we support executive leaders in particular who are feeling frust frustrated with um, imposter syndrome to really manage their time, earn more money and have better energy so that they can actually create a life of total freedom. And within that, within that, that life of total freedom comes a thriving business. That's awesome. So I said to do list. You said make more money, have more time, more freedom. Your explanation was way better than mine. So let's use yours. <laughs> let's help people get get more time back, get more freedom, and earn more money. Um, so tell me then. Obviously, you you specialize, or I, I preframe the conversation by saying we're going to specialize in to do lists. We're going to talk about to do lists. So can you give me a little bit of background of how you look at to do lists a little bit differently than most people? Mm -hmm. Well, we consider ourselves accountability consultants. And so, you know, as entrepreneurs, we've been entrepreneurs for a while. And one of the earliest things that I realized is that I had to learn how to parent myself. You know, as an entrepreneur, there's no real, well, it seems like you have a structure, an architect, architect that we get to find out about today, but um, there's no real like, school you can go to and they teach you like this is the formula everybody who's successful you know they all have their unique journey because we all are individuals we all bring our special uh special uh, unique spiciness to our business and and you know we attract our own audience and so on and so on but early in 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 our career we realized we needed some structure we needed a method we needed um, a solution to lead ourselves. And I, I say parent myself, but because that, that was my journey. Like, you know, everybody's like, oh, I want to be my own boss. I'm like, do I really want to <laughs> be an employee to myself? Right. <laughs> and so, so, but it was a process because I love entrepreneurship. Like we were talking about, you know, we definitely believe entrepreneurs are super essential to our economy. Like because of entrepreneurs, we um, have an innovative culture and, you know, it continues the society to thrive and grow. And so we love entrepreneurs and we are entrepreneurs. And so we created a, a method in order to support entrepreneurs, to support ourselves in order to be more productive and to follow through on our commitments. And it evolved to not only um, impacting and uplifting our lot, our business, it also uh, supported our lives, our relationships, just everything with the formula and the method that we can cre we created. Yeah, yeah. And Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. So, and even with uh, accountability, like we know it's the key to success because oftentimes, as entrepreneurs start, even in starting off, you you have these big dreams, you have these big goals, and then now all of a sudden you're overwhelmed by because you're doing too much because you're so excited, and then you lose focus, you lose you lose direction. And so what happens with having a to-do list that is well is that well structured and focus and it al aligns with your 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 core values, your desires, your outcomes, then 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 your your entrepreneurial journey gets a bit more easier and it, it gets a bit more easier because now you can not only prioritize what's what's going to work for you you can prioritize it based on who you are. Like it's, it's your personal blueprint. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we, we believe in. We believe in that accountability is that habit of managing and directing your discipline so that now you're focusing on those intentional actions that's gonna actually move you towards your goal, towards your outcome. So, yeah. 
I, I don't know. I could have said that better myself. Should we just wrap up? Should we call that an episode? I mean, that was, that was perfect. <laughs> but, but I want to I dive in there because what you said, well, a number of the things you said were so crucial. But if we go back to what I said about small business failure rates, I mm -hmm. it's my belief that they're so high because so many people want to be their own boss, like you said, but mm -hmm. they really just want to be an employee without mm -hmm. someone else to report to. So mm -hmm. they end up starting a business, getting into entrepreneurship, and then they think all activities are the same. And that's where the typical to-do list model fails because we don't, we're not educated. There, there is no business school on what are the revenue producing activities? What are the, what are the 80, 20 rule? What's going to get me the most output for the least amount of input? Um, so I absolutely love that you guys said that. And this episode, we didn't talk about this beforehand, but something you guys said, um, actually Devon, you just said it right there. When you tie your to-do list and your activities to your core values, that is the first step in our process. So in, in the harmonious architecture, mm -hmm. I, I can already tell we're so aligned in this. The N yes. for navigate, that's actually where we start with our clients. It's mission, vision, core values, and we derive your critical drivers from your, your navigation, from your vision. And we break that down step by step, roll by roll into the driving actions for your business. So yeah. I absolutely love that you guys start there too. You're you figured out the architecture without having a name for it, but <laughs> I can argue that we're aligned there. So, but I want to dig in. Um, I want to find out how did you guys stumble upon this framework, the framework that you use and teach your clients? Um, were you in corporate America? Was it just from from running your own business? How did yeah. you come about that? Yes. So, um, you know, kind of, you know, there is a small percentage of people who can do the two lit do the to-do list and be successful at it. They write it down and they can get themselves to just execute it and it's done. But there is also another percentage of people who are not successful with that method. And again, like when we started out, we were we were struggling and we were frustrated and we were overwhelmed. We were doing too much, you know, and, you know, through networking and coaching and also just learning personal development, learning ourselves, learning, you know, we are partners and his routine, his schedule is so different from mine. And I'm like, you can't, you can't do, you know, you can't do your day like this because it doesn't fit. But if he tries to get on my schedule, he he's taking naps in the middle of the day. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's, it's, you know, and it's driving me crazy. But it, it dawned on me again through personal development, coaching, and our journey. We we're, we're like, he's successful when he does his day the way he does it. And I'm successful when I do my day the way I do it. And so we just started doing it. And then we um, started, again, talking to other entrepreneurs and we started to share the model. Um, but it's something that we developed through <laughs> learning how to be entrepreneurs. Yeah, literally trial and error, I would say, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. And we, no, that's we, we kind of just identifying as well. What's the, what's the core things that we always hear people say? People, people's always saying, oh, yeah, take action, take action. Do this. Um, you got you got focus on personal development, but it's like we 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 took all of this back and we had we we had to think to ourselves. We had to say, okay, this is what this is this is what's happening in entrepreneur entrepreneur land, but and this is what's working for some, and this is what can work for some if they do these certain steps, they follow these certain action steps, and so literally after like just masterminding, just just blueprinting. We we came up with with that method that's gonna allow us to prioritize and thrive. It's 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 it's, it's very simple, but we we managed to hone it down, and um, I'm grateful <laughs> that we did. And another thing that we saw, like as early entrepreneurs, there were just so many entrepreneurs thinking that they needed more information, yeah, and it was yeah, like yeah, exactly. you don't need to learn anything else. You need to. And that was kind of like the like the um, conception of it. it was like we and we were doing it, too. It was like we were just showing up thinking like I need one more answer or, you know, I need that one more tactic. But it was like, no, I have plenty of information. I just need to work the information, the income producing information and do that consistently. And so, you know, um, really in learning like, OK, if we're the CEOs of our business, there's tasks that we don't get to do, even though, you know, there's tasks in the business that he does that I don't touch. And then there's tasks that he better not touch because I think I'm better at. Right. But but, you know, learning our roles and learning, you know, 
our gifts and our strengths naturally um, in order for our business to grow and so we can support and impact more people. Uh, yeah, that's a great perspective. Now, I want to kind of flip over to the task prioritization side of things. How do you mm -hmm. help people understand what is the leverage points? What are what are the tasks that are going to get me the biggest results? And whether that's, you know, corporate clients, entrepreneurs, we already talked about how the entrepreneurs tend to think all activities are equal, at least in the beginning of their journey. And then mm -hmm. they kind of learn slowly, especially like you guys did. Okay, different inputs equal different outputs. So how do you p help people stumble upon that stuff, discover it, and then maximize their outputs? Yeah, so well, um, it, it, I'll, I'll give you a three-step process. But um, what, one thing we, we like to do with our, with our clients is help them centralize their thoughts first because they've, a lot's going on in their head right now. <laughs> so they get to, they get, that gets to go down on paper, gets, that gets to go down on a, on, on a file that they can visually see. And they have a visual visual input, visual cues that's that's, that's taking place. And then so now we want to help them. Then we help them categorize what they put what they put down on their list, and even delegate what's on their list. Because imagine imagine this: you're you're you're, you're ready to you're ready to go and take on the world with this vision that you have now. And so you get to categorize it, categorize what your action steps are in three ways. So the first way. That you get to highlight is what is a task that only I can do? That's number one. Number two is what is a task that I can do later? It's important, but I can I can do this later. And then number three is what is a task that someone else can do? Like this something has to get done, but I can leverage this by using by um outsourcing someone else's expertise, someone else's skills that's going to still take me towards that goal and it's still in alignment with my mission. So what, what it does is you get to focus 80% on the things that only you can do. And so that leaves um, mental bandwidth for you to take those intentional actions. And that actually, once that, once that, once that, that action or that, that framework is, is supported, then you're going to actually start finding that needle in the haystack within your business that so you're going to start finding that 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 thing that's going to click for you and and, and propel you forward so that, that's that's what we, we like to do um, help cat people categorize um or help the leaders categorize and delegate their lists okay so i'm i'm over here i'm like trying not to jump out of my chair um very very excited by what you just said because the podcast that i filmed yesterday that will air like the day before yours so if you're listening yeah. to this just go back one episode and check this out and see how <laughs> what devon just said lines up with what i said yesterday this is actually a concept that we talk about all the time at what if um and it's in the s discipline of harmonious which is serenity so serenity mm. is basically renaming time management we can't manage time as human beings we can just manage our relationship with it and we can manage what goes on our calendar so yeah. we talk about the four D's. I want to get your feedback on this. So I'm going to explain it very briefly for you, but it's almost identical to what you just said. And I want to see if this is basically the process you go through. So the four D's for us in the correct order are delete, delay, delegate, do. And we call everything that is do the golden line that you, the entrepreneur, uniquely can do yourself and should be doing. That's your 80-20. But when you tackle it in that order, when opportunities or challenges come up, if you seek to first delete them and just say, it's not a good fit for my business, mm -hmm. um, or you at least delay it, say it's a good fit, but not now. And then mm -hmm. of course, delegate, I can't delay it. I can't delete it. It's a good fit for the business, but not me. Mm -hmm. you, what comes to you then is the ultimate leverage point, but it comes from understanding your vision and where you're going and who's on your team and how you get there. So I'm, I'm so jacked up because you used basically the same words that that we do and you said the exact same thing i just love when i meet people who who use this architecture so mm -hmm. am i am i correct in oh, my yeah. Yeah, you're let's literally go, go Brandon. let's go i love it <laughs> it's right. like you're, you you saw the worksheet already <laughs> i was just gonna say if you want to if you're listening or watching if you want to dive deeper into this um you guys have a a freebie, a worksheet that I'll put the website on the screen here. It's very, very long because there's a backslash, but uh, it'll be in the show notes as well. Can you guys explain what is uh, is at this website? 
Yeah. So this is our one pager. We wanted to keep it super simple because we didn't want you to be overwhelmed with, oh, I got something else to do. Literally, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling frustrated, or if you were like, man, I really want to organize and I really want to know what, have super clarity on what are my three priorities for 2024 and beyond um, this week, this day, this month. Um, this is a one pager literally for the process that we're talking about. You we, it's a one, two, three process and it's a complete cycle. You know, we were talking about it earlier, like a lot of people feel overwhelmed because they have so many open loops in their mind. You know, there there's tasks that you wrote on your to do list. And even though you're not thinking about it subconsciously, it's back there. So we have um, this is our one, two, three process, a super simple process for you literally to walk through the process of training yourself in order to complete your commitments and close these loops. And so it's a very condensed version of what we actually work with our clients on, but it is super supportive um, to people to at least get get themselves moving and having that clarity on mm -hmm. what are your top three priorities? Focus on one priority at a time. Here's the action steps for them. How did you do? What worked? What didn't work? Um, and let's get on to the next priority. Yeah, I love that. So can you tell me like when you're working with your clients, what does it look like? What's the transformation look like when they come to you, probably scattered all over the place, never ending to do list of a million different things. When they get this ultimate focus and they have their, their top three that they're working on, what does it look like for them on the backside? What's their mental clarity? What's their productivity like? Can you tell me that, that transformation? Yeah. So what, what, what it generally looks like is more activity because oftentimes our clients come to us in a stagnant way. It's like, and they're really stuck because it's like they're doing a lot of things all at once, but there's not any end of month revenue. There's not any progress, um, progress no uh, impact. No, no, no time for themselves, no family time, yeah. like no, no true contribution because it's like they're working and they're doing business with their clients, but they're not even in relationship with their clients. They're not truly being present and intimate, you know, and even with themselves, you know, and so they're, they're that avatar <laughs> where we've all experienced it. It's no judgment. You know, we mm -hmm. all get there, but it's literally learning to be, and I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry. Right. <laughs> it's literally, I, but I, like, you know, literally because I started thinking about like um, a, a few of our clients, I won't say their name, but I started thinking about that. And I'm just like, you know, seeing them support their community and them being yeah. more of themselves and, and being, you know, like I, I'm having this image of them like being removed from under the weight of what they didn't expect from their business. You know, um, it's just beautiful to support people when they're actually living and striving in their purpose and, and in their gifts. And I'm sorry, I'll let you finish. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's, that's, that's great. Because um, and one thing is that they actually get the opportunity now that they have that structure in place, they get the opportunity to actually give themselves feedback and to actually and to see which ways was working for them and which ways they can improve from. And that's refreshing for us because we, we it's like, okay, it, it's proof of concept, it works now. So it's like, who, who's next? <laughs> you know, who's next? That's so great. I, I love this conversation. I couldn't be more of a fan of, of you two and what you're doing. I, I just love the way you you show up and, and the process that you take people through and it resonates with with what we do. So let's let's tie this together. Let's tie it to the architecture real quick, and then I got a final question for you guys. But the process that that we go through when working with clients, um, and just keep in mind if you're if you're watching the show, you know that we've worked with the Fortune 50 all the way down to solopreneurs. The process is always the same, and that's the importance of having a framework and a process like Zay Faith and Devon are talking about here. We go three letters in a row. It's N O. S, navigate, operate, serenity, in that order. You need to know why you're doing what you're doing. Most entrepreneurs ultimately don't, or they haven't clearly defined it. And where you're going, that's your vision. We tie that to the activities that you should be doing to get you there. And then we can work on serenity, the S. That's your calendar. That's getting your time back, getting your focus back, and making sure the right things are on your calendar and not just all things. It sounds like you guys have really the same process with different words. So mm -hmm. I, I could not be a bigger supporter of you. Who should reach out to you if they want to take that next step and work with you guys and, and go through this process and have an accountability partner to hold them to this standard? How can people get in touch with you uh, and take that next step to work with you? Yeah. 
I mean, like we said, we definitely we are uh, we transitioned to working with more corporate clients. So um, that's where we head. But, you know, if there's anything that we can do, we definitely love entrepreneurs. We are entrepreneurs. If there's mm -hmm. anything that we can do to support you, you can definitely reach out to us again. This worksheet that we have um, is a great start. But if you're like, no, whatever, you know, you really want more support, um, just reach out to us and you can email us. You can email us at hello at totalfreedomevents.com. That is hello at totalfreedomevents.com. That is hello at totalfreedomevents.com. And we will get back to you. That's awesome. Thank you for that. I'll put that and the download in the show notes. If you're watching, if you're listening, everything's down there. Um, and can we follow you guys on social media too? Are you, are you active Absolutely. anywhere? Absolutely. Oh, well, I'm, yeah, <laughs> we're doing some revamping. We're, we're uh, our team is growing, so we are revamping. We've been uh, really working deeply with our email community. Um, so now we are also getting on trend, trends uh, on social media. But on social media, YouTube and Facebook, we have Total Freedom Events, which is our company, Total Freedom Events. And then as far as, to, sorry, Total Free, I'm sorry, Total Freedom Network, Total Freedom Network. Um, and then as far as uh, any social platform, I'm Zay Faith. Yeah. And so you can find me on, li on LinkedIn at Devanna Edwards, um, YouTube again, Total Freedom Network. And again, Facebook, Instagram, Devanna Edwards. All of them. Awesome. I love um, it. I'll be sure to check you guys out. I'll put those in the show notes as well. Thank you both for being here. This was a, a fantastic conversation. I love the approach that you take to what you do. It's so, so important. Um, for those of you listening, watching, thank you, of course, for being here. You are the reason we do this. Couldn't do it without you. So be sure to subscribe, like, comment wherever you are. Let us know your takeaways. Drop it in the comments. What do you think? And of course, we'll see you on the next episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Thanks for being here.